Welcome back. Thank you so much for keeping it lots of time to have a little bit of fun with this one. And I say that with a wry smile. Now, if your relationship ends on good terms, it's perfectly reasonable to wonder if it's possible to be friends with your ex. Why am I sweating even as I say that? After all, <laughs> this person is likely someone that you genuinely like. Clearly, there was chemistry and a connection, or, or and enjoy spending time with them, as well as someone with whom you probably have shared some ex experiences, you have shared values and interests to give up all of that just because you realised a romantic relationship won't work between the two of you. It does seem a little bit silly. Well, today we're going to discuss this concept, the concept of being friends with your ex. Is it ever a good idea or should you just cut ties completely and keep it on moving? Keep on moving. Oh, on. that's the question. And we have a panel that consists of relationship psychologist Angela Maxwell, as well as someone with first-hand experience on being friends with an ex. We have educator and former model Octavia Evans joining us in studio. And we encourage you at home to also join in on our discussion. Please share your thoughts and experiences with us with a voice note. That number is 063-408-8863. I have a feeling this is going to become a very heated debate. Polarizing. <laughs> Polarizing, if you will. Um, <laughs> it's an interesting one, and I suppose the, on the surface of it, it sh we should be big enough, grown up enough to be able to deal with such things, but we're not. Let's be honest, humans <laughs> are complicated creatures that really struggle. Um, maybe, Octavia, I can start with you, because uh, breakups are tough, man. Yeah, it is tough. Um, my breakup was, like, super tough, because you go through this perception in life that you guys are the perfect match for one another. So it took me a journey to, you know, firstly detach yourself from the person and then mentally and emotionally you need to equip yourself to heal and to move forward from that. Was it clean break? Fuse that nerve, <laughs> move on with your life? Or are you still kind of, because a heavy, you know, when you give your, Self for years yeah. for a relationship. Yeah. That's a lot of yourself. It's a lot. Yes. That's going in, but also a lot that's being taken mm -hmm. out. It kind of reshapes and reforms the person that you are. Yeah. So it, 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 I couldn't say it was a clean break. It took a lot from mm. me. So that's why I say when it came to the healing process, it took me time to detach, to heal myself, to regain myself, and also emotionally to build yourself up from what you lost in yeah. that time. And that is quite a journey to go through yeah. yourself. Now, Angela, when a breakup happens and someone suggests, well, let's be friends, is that an act of cruelty or perhaps an act of kindness? Because I feel like the person being on the receiving end might not feel the same way as the person suggesting, let's just be friends. Yeah, I, I mean, I totally agree. I think often it's offered as a, like a bit of a consolation prize. Oh, well, let's be, <laughs> let's be yeah. friends. <laughs> but I... Uh, and I, and I like what Octavia says about needing time to detach or to separate, to actually let, to become two separate Entity. people again, yeah, and yeah, then to sure. renegotiate what the relationship will be. Um, I do think it's possible to be friends again, but I think it has to be renegotiated, not, not like a sort of, uh, let's just see, like friends with benefits or what this is, but actually creating something new again. And I suppose the reality is often you're still leaning on each other yeah. because you've needed exactly. each other. Your lives are still very much intertwined. Oh, I'm, I'm sweating just <laughs> saying these, these things, man. Um, Nocinto sent us through a voice note. Let's see what they had to say. I believe that um, if, if you purely want to move on, you guys can't be friends. You can't be friends because if you stick on... Uh, being bitter on him, that means you still want him back then. Mm. Be friends and move on. Mm, no sense no to knows. be the from mama. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. You can be friends or you can be friendly. Yeah. And there's nothing wrong with being friendly with, I don't want to leave any relationship with scar tissue and animosity. Mm -hmm. So I get that, but... It speaks to the level of involvement in so your life. Good. How much yes. interaction? Yes, it's yeah. one thing. Hey, how are you doing? It's another thing if your current exactly. partner has to see him every day. Yeah. <laughs> there is a, a flip side to that. Octavia, what about that relationship and the connection that you have has allowed you to stay friends? And, and is it all roses being friends with an ex? Uh, I think what made things um, 
okay for us to be friends was the fact that we were friends way before we started dating. Mm. So that played a very good foundation in the fact of we were able to swiftly move back into, okay, we need to step our, our distance from one another. It's not any more that closeness, mm. but more that casual, general... Deep civil. friend zone. Yeah. Back into the friend zone. <laughs> yeah. oh. Back, back, back. Well, we do have another voice note that we would love to share with you. Let's take a listen to this. Good morning, Team Expresso. Ikram here from Atlantis. Um, with regards to the question that was posed on social media, is it okay to be friends with your ex? Um, one question that I would always ask myself is, how was the relationship? Did it end well or did it end on good terms? If it did not end on good terms, then yeah. it's not okay or it's not a good idea to stay friends with your ex. But if it end very well and very good, then you can. That is just my two cents. Thank you. Thank that's, you for It's not just that. two cents, that's like a rand. That was a, that was <laughs> that, a valuable nugget. That was nugget. valuable, yeah. valuable. Yeah. I, I see I think, you were nodding your head there. Exactly. So for me, I think it depends on what the quality of the relationship was, how the breakup is. But if yeah. it's abusive, then it's not something that you want to... You don't need that toxicity, yeah. yeah. So doesn't it also come down to the type of person you were? What if it was mm. someone you met on an app and you guys really click, but romantically it's not working? Mm. Yeah, so if there's a not a good fit, then I think you can create, well, this is going to be a friendship, not a relationship. Set that premise early on. Woo-wee! It's, it's an interesting discussion if you're in such a relationship right now, um, if you feel like a bit of a third wheel because your partner is still really close to one of their exes, we'd love to hear from you. 063-408-8863. That's the WhatsApp line to use. It's my feel-good we are back with our panel discussion. This is your Feel Good Breakfast Show Expresso on S3. And this morning's discussion can be quite interesting because we are asking the question, can you be friends with your ex after a breakup? Is it ever a good idea or should you cut ties completely and keep it moving? Well, our panel consists of relationship psychologist Angela Maxwell, as well as someone with first-hand experience on being friends with their ex, Octavia Evans. <coughs> now, we encourage you at home to join in on this discussion, share your thoughts, please even share your experiences, and you can send us a voice note that number is 063 408 um, we've got a couple of voice notes, but before we get back in there, uh, because I'm struggling to keep my baggage <laughs> at the, the check-in at the door, yeah. Um, and I would imagine it's like that for everyone because relationships come with baggage. Yeah. I kind of get a sense, we say this, I oh, hope we can still be friends, either to placate ourselves, to make ourselves feel a little bit better, like we're not completely abandoning this person, we're just kind of leaving them sort of treading water, but they'll be okay. Or, you know, we're trying to make them feel better about themselves, about the situation, that you're not that bad. What should we really be thinking about when we want to say that? Because I think we say it very easily. I know a breakup is mm. difficult, but it's quite easy to say those words. Mm. What should we actually be considering if we want to stay friends with that person? What checklist should we run through, do you think? Yeah, so I think we, none of us wants to be the bad person. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And equally, none of us wants to be rejected. Mm -hmm. mm. Um, but I guess, I, so for me, like we said, I think that we need time to separate. Um, but then I think there can be ways that we can remember what was the good about that person. Mm. But renegotiate this new relationship, yeah. that it's not, what, it's not what it was before. Mm. So it's all about basically starting over. Exactly. Starting over with a new friendship. I know you... <laughs> <laughs> you like the word. Why? Why do you still want this person in your life, Octavia? <laughs> Uh, I felt like, uh, for me personally, we got well along before. Like I said, we had a good amount of years of friendship before we moved on to being like as one and then now we're moving back. So for me, it was why throw away those years that we spent together in separate parts as friends. So, and we got well along. So our friend circle was also as one. So I was going to say, are maybe... you in the same social yeah. circle still? Yeah. Oh, yes. And then, I know you now introduce your partner to the family. Did you have to consider them or was, what, how did your family <laughs> take the breakup? I feel like families also become <laughs> intertwined. <laughs> yeah, you, the families, of course it was like surprising, like, what happened? How? Uh, so at the beginning they were like, no. You can't, you can't be friends with him, so. And to me it was, 
why use that weight on yourself, that anger? So gradually they saw my flow that I am generously being just mutual and that we are moving now on to being as friends. So then they accepted the fact that things are now, you know, drifting away from us being as a partner, but more as friends. And after a while, they became more, I feel like they became more inviting to him, like, oh, I saw you. <laughs> now there's no pressure, yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah, they started changing. So that's the life. Anger was <laughs> oh, that's crazy. Maybe Lisa agrees with me, OK? Maybe Lisa thinks this is all absolutely crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, Expresso family. My name is Lisa, watching from Zimbabwe, Harare. Uh, so my contribution is, it depends how things ended between the two of you, number one. Number two, how mature you are. Mm. Uh, number three, it also depends what your partners, are they okay with you being friends with your ex? Mm -hmm. mm, I think a lot of Fair people, yeah. I mean, I'm in a relationship. I don't know how I would feel knowing that my boyfriend I know, now Zoe. is friends <laughs> with an ex. I know I exactly how you feel. You would hate it. I know. Absolutely hate it. I kind of. <laughs> I just. I'm struggling to find a human being, man or woman, on this planet that'll be comfortable with if an ex is still in your in your setup. Octavia, are you seeing someone new? Not. No, not at the moment. Do you think you could continue this friendship whilst seeing someone new? How do you think? Yeah, I could. I could continue the friendship because we both set the boundaries. Uh -huh. Where. This is a friendship we've been maintaining. We're maintaining a mutual friendship, a healthy friendship. You have your partner, you have moved on, and this is my life now. Okay. Okay. So boundaries is very important. Boundaries are very important. Well, we have another voice note that we'd love to listen to. Let's take a listen to this one. I would say no, because I think there will be a fight. <laughs> Straight in. To the point. <laughs> no, yeah. there will be a fight. And it, you know, it might seem like an oversimplification, but there will be a fight. I guarantee you there will be a fight at some point. Let's it's... get one more voice down in. A very good morning to my expressive family. Thank you for the opportunity. I would say yes, I would be friends with my ex. Simple reason being there's a saying that goes, let's forgive and forget. Have a blessed day. Thank you, Joshua Labour Gardens. Bye. Mm. So it takes strength to be able to say forgive and forget. Yeah. I think it also depends on whether, you know, if, if we're talking about the end of a relationship where you share children, mm -hmm. or we're talking about... Well, let's, let's touch on that because as I think families or, or partners that have mutual mm -hmm. kids, I think it's very difficult for them to, to have that clean cut mm -hmm. while the children are so, still so dependent on them. Mm -hmm. How do you navigate that space where you are a single parent now, the partner is still very actively involved in the mm. kid's life and your life, and you now move on to a new relationship. What kind of boundaries do you then set in place? So I think that for the children, they actually need to know that they come mm. from love or, mm. and that they can actually come from both parents. So ideally, if, both pe if it wasn't abusive, then to stay friends for the children is, I think, important. Mm -hmm. Or at least uh, civil. Find a way. And not yeah. like saying bad things Think about like, the other person. Yeah. I think that's yeah. really important. because More of a parentingship. Exactly. Co-parenting. Parentingship, I like mm. that. Parentingship, <laughs> very, very good. Boundary seems to be a bit of a key word of this morning. Have you been through a breakup recently but stayed friends with your partner? How does your new partner feel about it is what I'd like to know this morning. Zero six three four zero eight double eight six three. Drop us a voice note. It's my feel good breakfast show. Uh, welcome back. Thank you so much for rejoining our discussion on the concept of being friends with your ex after a breakup. Is it ever a good idea or should you just cut ties completely and keep things moving, people? We're still joined by our wonderful panel this morning consisting of relationship psychologist Angela Maxwell as well as uh, someone with first-hand experience. Yep, she's friends with her ex and seems to be getting it right. Octavia Evans, guys, thank you so much for sticking around. And um, we love to hear from you guys. 063 That's the WhatsApp line. We've got someone there right now. We do. Let's take a listen to Queen G. Good morning, Expresso team. On the question that, is it okay to stay friends with your ex? I would not support staying friends with an ex because it will trigger uh, memories and 
things that you used to do together, such things, and you'll end up affecting your current relationship, being friends with an ex, because obviously the, the current partner will not approve of it. You rather stay friendly with an ex, but not friends. Oh, yeah, I think she's nailed it for me. That seems to be the line. But just, you know, you've got to be reminded because social media exists. Uh, Octavia, how do you get that right? Like the social media element, and has your ex popped up in social media with someone else? Yeah, like he has popped up with someone else, being with someone else. So for me, it's just a constant. How <laughs> mindset thing where you cut yourself off because if you're constantly going to look like you want to see you're going to put yourself in a very more very stressful state yeah. wanting to constantly look at what he's doing at the sense you are happy because things don't work out between the two of you you are meant to be with someone else clearly something but, is telling you but, but isn't there an element of hurt when you see that person's moved on and you haven't At yet? the beginning, of course, you're going to feel that hurt. But like I say, gradually, when you detach and you do your thing, most people block <laughs> on all social media platforms. Or platform. unfollow. Yeah, or unfollow. But for me, it was just... Yeah. See, but we haven't studied to be a Shaolin monk for 12 years like <laughs> you know, and achieved this level of balance of karmic understanding. I, I, I'm so impressed by this. Angie, let's take it a step further. And now I'm chatting to my ex and we're having a catch up and they ask about my current relationship and I start to divulge things. When is it okay to talk about your current relationship with your ex? Is it ever okay? I mean, I think it depends on the intention of what you... Yeah. Like, are you talking because you want to no. get back together? Yeah. Or, but I don't... Yeah. No, I don't think you should be talking about your intimates. No. No, they, they're not part of that aspect no. of your life anymore. Now, we have another voice note. We have a few that came through. Let's take a listen to this one from Nosipo. <laughs> I don't see anything wrong when you have a friend with your ex. OK. So, Nosipo... a good thing. All right, she sounds like she's thinking out loud there, like maybe <laughs> telling herself a bit of coaching. Um, OK, but good. Um, then we got Charlene also weighed in with a voice note. Let's hear. I think it's OK for the couples, if they break up, to be friends, because they can still be nice to each other. They don't have to be, be mean mm. to each other. So I would say give them a chance that they can be your friend. See, when a nice child says it like that, it sounds so... <laughs> so, so I personally would rather be friendly than yeah, friends. Friends, yeah, exactly. Yeah. I'd rather be polite and friendly than friends. We have one last voice note we would love to share. Let's take a listen to this one from Irma. Good morning, Espresso family. I would say yes and no. Mm. <laughs> Especially when you have children together then. Yes, you can be friends. But not friends, 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 you know. <laughs> like just mm. a little goodbye. Or oh, how's the kids doing? That's it. I'm not comfortable being friends with exes. Okay. So like we said, we expected <laughs> this. We expected this. <laughs> Angie, I wanted to know, let's say being friends with an ex is successful. In fact, it's so successful, <laughs> is it ever a good idea to get <laughs> back together? <laughs> <laughs> So generally, I don't think it's a good idea, unless there can be a real, again, the same word, renegotiation and a re-enlivening of the relationship. Yeah, and I think it's the boundaries. I, I'm, I'm beginning to understand. It's just, it's so yeah. dangerous. <laughs> I just, I don't know, are you ever, ever, ever going to get back together? <laughs> um, if you had to think honestly now, this is a person that you were attracted to. You're not in a relationship yeah, right now, so no. you're not going to get into trouble however you no. answer this question. <laughs> yeah. People are probably watching, so just think <laughs> about that. But um, is that door completely closed? Can you be honest with yourself and say that that is a boundary that you can maintain? Uh, for me, I feel like it is a boundary that you maintain. Uh, prior to, to negotiating being friends at that time, you already made the decision of that we are sticking to friends. So for me, it, it's going to have to take a lot, personally, from both sides, if you would ever devaluate the fact of getting back together. For me, personally, right now, <laughs> I feel it's, it's... Can I just okay. ask the question on everyone's minds, yeah. please? Who messed up? 
You can't say it. You don't have to answer that. You don't have to answer that. You don't have to answer that. That was not absolute nonsense. I'm dying to know now. I am actually dying to to know. Um, So maybe, Angie, a good place to round this off is with advice if you are in that situation. And please, I I know we make light of it, but I'm taking nothing away from if you're having to make a friendship work or at least being cordial within a relationship if kids are involved, for instance. So I understand that. But just if you are entering into a friendship with an ex, what are some of the guidelines, maybe the advice that you would leave with us? I mean, one is to, I think, value the individual, Mm. that they have a journey still, that this... There were things that you fell in love with and that they can still carry forward. Um, I do think that we need moments to regather ourselves, to heal from what what was... was Grieve, yeah. Yeah, Yeah, to grieve, exactly. Mm. Um, To separate, to form a new... To know your own value separate from that person um, is important, but that that you can still hold them in a good light in their life going forward. Going forward, yeah. We all want to be happy, we all want to win. Exactly, our Charlotte Monk weighs in with the final piece of of advice. She's living proof you can be friends with your ex. I think the two of us have agreed you cannot be friends with your ex, but you can be friendly. Friendly. It's not a judgment, you're amazing. You are amazing, (laughs) just not for me. It comes down to the individual's character. I think it comes down to that. But thank you for weighing in on the conversation. Angela, Octavia, thank you for joining us today. Amazing guests, and of course, we will be continuing with that topic for today. Our WhatsApp line stays open. If you still want to weigh in, please do so. It's 063-408-8863.